All right, so today I'm gonna to show you my leg workout and a recipe, whatever I make for dinner tonight. And I'm gonna let you guys in on this journey of gaining weight. I'm trying to get my weight back up. I used to be 148 at one point, and now I'm 128, 129. I'm not gonna compromise on my athletics at all. So it's gonna be a fun journey. I just wanna let you guys in on it. All right, here's a little video. I'm doing this with my phone because I forgot my camera card um, before Robert gets here with his camera. Or he's here. I'm looking all over this place for you. I'm and about to show him my before. You're in the, the least likely place in this damn gym. I'm showing him my before of my legs a little. Because okay, I don't have a camera card. Because all honesty, I feel really small right now. How much do you Which, weigh right now? 129. Did you so weigh yourself today? My, no. Oh, I'm sorry. So this is my... See, but when you flex, this is how girls take pictures. They flex and they turn sideways and it looks bigger. But this is my side. Hold on. This is my back. I'm doing this again because I had a string hanging last time I recorded. Side. So look, she's recording on her phone. I don't know why, but. All right, so this is attempt number what at this uh, growing your glutes. Oh, just like this past year or two? Yeah. Two. All right, Third. attempt number two. Why do you think we weren't able to do it last time? I started to be become an entrepreneur. <laughs> okay, oh yeah. So I quit and I started a whole business with you and Yeah, that's true. So you didn't, you really didn't have time to dedicate to it. Yeah, and we spoke about how I gave so much into other things and other people. Mm -hmm. And like, we didn't have the breakthrough of me really like, I practiced on myself until the other day in the car before we went to Puerto Rico. So put it like this, Kimmy is selfless to a fault, right? And I have to do better at making sure that she is focused more on herself and less on me and less on her family and less on the business because she's a very vital piece to this entire operation. And if she, she can't pour from an empty cup. So I have to take more of the responsibility because she's naturally very selfless and I need to make sure I stay on top of her about making sure she is caring for herself and giving herself time and, and investing energy into herself. So I have blocked off, Dan, that sounds so formal, right? I've blocked off time to train her every week, at least two sessions from now on, and I'm dedicating myself to it. I'm now gonna hold myself accountable. So You're not gonna hold yourself accountable. I, I am now holding myself I accountable. I'm not gonna no, I am now holding myself accountable. That's the reason I started a channel again, YouTube channel again. I started after we have that talk mm -hmm. because this helps me, I, I like remind myself, okay, Candace, you have to do something for you. So that reminds me to record because I'm doing this for me, which is helping other people. Oh my gosh, I'm still helping other people. <laughs> <laughs> I know how cliche it is, the whole girl growing glutes kind of thing, but this is really something that she's genuinely been wanting to focus on. So it's not just for YouTube. Sound. I have to make sure my whole entire body is strong mm -hmm. and my whole entire body is healthy. Yep. So I still want to run, jump, sprint, swim, be able to do all that. There you go, superwoman. So let's get this show on the road. Hey. <laughs> you did your glue activation? Not all of it. I stopped to record while I was... No? This means business stuff. Bun oh yeah. You know what It means business when she put her hair in a bun. All right, so explain to them the concept behind um, glue activation. Why do you... What are you doing right now? You gotta warn your muscle with, that you're about to work it. You gotta warn it? Yeah, I mean... Hey, muscle! Hey, first off, you have to warm it up. Okay. And then you have to let it know you're about to work it. Because I have la lazy glutes. Yeah. So they like to just like sit there and sleep. I'm putting it in like layman's terms if I can. They like to sit there and sleep. So when I go to do squats, my quads are like always firing all mm. the time. Even when I go upstairs, I feel my quads. So since my butt is asleep, I gotta wake it up. That's a good. Yeah, go ahead, wake it up. Hey, 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 oh. hold on. You remember that torture you put me through for the show? It's payback time. I ate you up. Listen, you ate my ass up. <clears throat> but look. I don't know if you guys know,
but Cam used to be my trainer. She prepared me for my first show, my only show. Well, I say first. <laughs> well, that was your first and your It was my first and only show. And when I tell you she kicked my ass, Look. I used to hate her. Look, guys, six days a week, hardcore, all day. One day I came in and made him do 50 burpees before he even started. Oh my God, I wanted to fight her. Don't just go through the motions like this. I don't feel that. Mm -hmm. When you lift up, I concentrate all my butt. That's all I think. Pull with my butt. I know it sounds, it may sound silly. No, no, my muscle connection. Pull, so pull with my butt and I just squeeze right here. That's all I squeeze and then I release it. I do it slow. I squeeze, I really squeeze. Now, I'm just gonna say, when girls, some girls do butt stuff, I'm not even gonna lie, when their back's like this, because they're trying to push their butt out more, mm -hmm. to show more, to do the exercise, this makes your back engage with the exercise. When you're really doing butt, it's better if you arch this, so it's just butt. Mm. So, if you're, so when you're on, what's the machine you put your legs in, you do these. Dar um, RDL, um, is it? I don't know. I'm just Where you put both your legs up, and mm -hmm. you grab your weight, and you do this. It's better if you arch your back a little bit and just go up and concentrate on squeezing your butt. Okay. Tip. See what happens when you burn out. When you go towards the end, does the quad weaken and then the glutes start taking up, taking over? You're not pulsing? You, you don't want to... No. There you go. All right, so here's the issue. Kami has very, very lazy glutes. Her quads are very dominating. So whenever she does any of those compound style movements, her quads and her hamstring takes all the action away from her glutes. So we got to find ways to target her glutes, which is the problem, which is, which is our frustration right now. So she's doing some more activation work. Hopefully we can wake those lazy glutes up. See, look, I switched the angle, babe. So you won't have a crotch shot. Yeah, like what's going on right now with your lazy ass? It's just lazy. I just get frustrated because I think I had bad form before, so my quads have always taken the load. So now it's like 10 years of not doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. My quads are so strong that it's just hard to activate <coughs> my glutes. Yeah. Right, so let's just let's just do that thing. Come on. Let's let's not focus on the squatting and the lunging and all that stuff. Let's let's do the glute act. Come on, lazy glutes, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah, I feel it. Maybe that is what I need to do. I need to slow my roll with like squat and lift and sprint and really try to uh, you just pull my body out. Yeah, fix the imbalances. Yeah, that's what it is. Focus on fixing the imbalances. Because I think with having a weak posterior, because I have a strong anterior, I have a weak posterior, mm -hmm. that it affects my hips. Mm -hmm. Probably have a pelvic tilt. Yeah, I do. So we figured out we figured out the issue, huh? Yeah. But you got to be willing to put the work in to fix it. I know. I got weak glutes. Can you imagine what will happen when I balance myself out? My posterior, like, fix my glutes and my hamstrings mm. to match my quads. Mm. You're gonna be a beast. I'm gonna be how much faster I'll be able to run yeah. or jump. I've been jumping my whole life with just my quads. <laughs> but. And it's and not I gonna be. It, it's not gonna be fun. It's gonna be really monotonous. It's gonna be really tedious work. I know. But, but you gotta. You have to be willing to do it. I know. Well. Because you know what? As you get older, it's gonna start causing issues. The muscle imbalances. Like now. Yeah, like your hips are always hurting. Your freaking hamstrings are, are always sore. Yeah. That's no good. No good. We're gonna fix this. I got, yeah, I got to take care of myself more. I've been in this a long time. Mm -hmm. So we're going home so I can make some food. This guy in the background. And we're taking an Uber or a Lyft. 
What is it? The gym is, but see, look, the gym is only like six blocks away from the house. Yeah, the gym is, what was that ding? That's lift, oh, right here. The gym is probably six to eight blocks from the house. And it's like, feels like degrees 25 outside. degrees outside. Bro, it's cold. So we're gonna walk home, but now we're gonna Uber home. Bye. This is probably gonna be your your uh, shortest lift ever. All right, what's in my fridge? Eggs, yogurt, fruit, um, chorizo, soy chorizo, mushrooms. This green dragon hot sauce so good and this one tortillas all right and i just got some almond cheese so i want to do something with the kitten just kidding i have leftover turkey balls that i made in the crock pot so instead i'm gonna make pizza but not regular pizza hold on let me Put this down. I can't do nothing holding this thing. <laughs> this is cauliflower crust, also from Trader Joe's. <laughs> so, cauliflower crust, Trader Joe's pizza sauce, um, this cheese, mushrooms, and the turkey meatballs, and A little bit of this. Can you see that? Spring mix. And I put a little bit of this on there, just a few drops in avocado. So, usually this one pizza is definitely not enough for both of us. So, I always make like little ones on the side um, to make sure we have enough food. And then I'm gonna pop it in the oven for, let's see, about 12, 14 minutes. I usually check it at like 10. I check everything like four minutes before it says to check it. Usually I just have like this timer in my head for some reason and I know when things are done. But always check your stuff, if, especially if you're just starting to cook, a couple minutes before it tells you because your oven may be different. Um, so I'm gonna pop this in there and check it about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put avocado on top after because I like the fresh avocado and I don't like it warmed up. And that's it. Oh yeah, I forgot to add. I put oregano on top and I use this Mrs. Dash table blend for like almost everything I cook with.